Hello, and welcome to Mesquite Living Waters Fellowship's Wednesday's Word Series. We invite you now to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's message. Hello, and welcome to Wednesday's Word with Living Waters Fellowship here in Mesquite, Nevada. I am going to talk to you about one little letter. When we think of change and serving God and doing things, we think of big things. But all it takes is one tiny change and everything is affected. My best example of this is a word, a three letter word. But by changing one single letter, it changes the entire meaning. There are books in the Bible that demonstrate the same thing. Take, for example, the second epistle of John, not the gospel of John, the second epistle of John, which for those of you who don't know is one chapter and 13 verses long. It is one of, if not the shortest book in the entire Bible. And because it's so short, I'm going to read it to you. The elder to the elect lady and her children whom I love in truth, and not only I, but also all those who have known the truth. Because of the truth which abides in us and which will be with us forever, grace, mercy, and peace will be with you from God the Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and in love. Catching a uh, theme here, truth and love, truth and love. It's important. I rejoice greatly that I have found some of your children walking in truth as we receive commandment from the Father. And now I plead with you, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment to you, but that which we have known from the beginning, that we love one another. This is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, that as you have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. For many deceivers have gone out into the world who do not confess Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Now, notice it said an antichrist, not the antichrist. <clears throat> Look to yourselves that we do not lose those things which we worked for, but that we may receive a full reward. Whoever transgresses and does not abide in the doctrine of Christ does not have God. He who abides in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this doctrine, do not receive him into your house, nor greet him. For he who greets him shares in his evil deeds. Having many things to write to you, I did not wish to do so with paper and ink, but I hope to come to you and speak face to face that our joy may be full. The children of your elect sister greet you. Amen. Now, that is literally a letter to a woman who is an elder of the church. But it encapsulates all of the important parts of salvation that we miss. That one little letter may a world of difference. Again, I'm going to share with you that example that I told you about of that three-letter word. When we are born into this world, we are born into sin, S-I-N, three little letters, one little word. But the goal of our life here on earth is to create and to deepen a relationship with the Son, S-O-N. Three little letters, one little word. Now, what is the difference between those two three-letter words? One little letter. When you take sin and you leave I in the middle 
I, I really hope that you grasp that because that right there is important beyond belief. Sin puts I in the middle. Self, me, what I want, what makes me feel good, what's important to me. Or as my father used to say when I was being selfish, I, 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 me, 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 me. <laughs> and it is the nature of the flesh to do exactly that. It is the nature of our flesh to put I in the middle of everything. The center of our own universe is ourselves. But when we seek God and we take I out of the middle and we put that O in its place and it changes that sin to the word son, it changes our whole world and everyone that's in it. Because that O also has great significance. That O is the same shape as the wedding ring that we use to indicate that we belong to another. It's also the sign of infinite love, perfect, unending love that has no beginning and no end. So when we take I, ourselves, out of the middle and put that perfect love, the love of God, in its place, that one little letter makes a world of difference. We need to learn how to take I out of the middle and put that O, oh, that love, in its place so that we go from sin to son. Thank you and God bless.